Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Broad Stage at Home Music Mornings. I'm Rob Bayless, the director of the Broad Stage, and I'm here this morning with internationally beloved jazz artist and band wow. leader, Sean Amos. The Reverend hey. Sean, join, join us now. How are Good you? Morning. I'm well, man. How are you holding up? I'm okay. How are you holding up? Where are you? I am in North Texas, where I could uh, get uh, near my kids uh, who live here. and. Uh, hunker down and you know keep my my mind and my body strong absolutely it's yeah. an incredibly challenging time as we all are experiencing in one way or another and yeah. i wonder if you would let us know a little bit how how you're faring and and how this is hitting you and the musicians that you work with and the world it's that tough. yeah i mean it's, it, it's a great equalizer right i mean you, you realize pretty fast what's important and what's not um and you discover some hidden Hidden beauties and all of it, and that's that's happened for sure. But it's been challenging. You know, our, our album comes out next week, and we were planning on traveling today uh, and playing our first shows on Tuesday. We're um, so you realize you know things change in an instant. You got to be nimble, and uh, I think for me at least, it's um, it's more of a mental game than anything at this point. Yeah, you know, it's just it's mm. just keep keeping spirit strong and and staying um, in the moment and one day at a time and uh, and getting used to you know, not planning too far in advance uh but uh you know and, and then there's sort of a, there's a zen to that you know i mean that's how life should be anyway you know sort of a to have no expectations you know as they say so um yeah we're, it's um you know it will we'll we'll count the days and hopefully uh yeah be stronger oh you froze on me thank you i uh you, you froze on me rob so i'm not catching your question oh you, you may be asking me. Uh, have you been keeping in touch with? <laughs> oh, keeping in touch with people. How have you been? Yeah. Yeah. Um. You all got you know like everyone else, Zoom and FaceTime and you know, and, and texting and uh, yeah, this is all the things we do. I, I, I will say that yeah, you know, I, I think there's a balance for me at least of you know how I stay connected and, and how I um, also you know spend time with myself, and, and I think that. Hopefully, people are, are finding that balance. I, I think we all need some distractions, for sure, and we all need to stay connected, for sure. And loneliness is, is a thing. Uh, but I think on the flip side of it, the chance for introspection and the chance to tend to business, whether it's the business of cleaning your closet out, <laughs> you need to do, or, or tending to the business of your family, or tending to the business of your of your of your you know, your mind and your emotions, and sort of you know cleaning out your closet that way. I, I think um, that's important too. So hopefully, people are. Um, you know, using the technology wisely and not sort of numbing out too much and, and spending some time, uh, you know, um, in, in some quiet spaces too. Certainly. I think I've, I've certainly found that as much as I might previously have used technologies and entertainments as, as a way of numbing out, that's off the table now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's lots of people cursing technology all the time, right? It was like, this stuff is horrible. And now they're like, oh, thank God for technology. I was listening to a, was it Chris Steele? Was a great show. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, and and, and they've you know like so many great uh, artists and, and media producers are you know, reinventing the Broad. You know, you guys doing what you're doing. Uh, Ever tried to reinvent how they you know present entertainment. And uh, and Chris Steele on his show yesterday, I was listening to it, and he was saying how he's written so many songs cursing yeah. technology and so many songs, you know, swearing how it's the end of humanity, and now this stuff yeah. is kind of what's saving us right now. So you know, we'll thank God for it. So um, I know you you were planning to do an album release uh, because we were going to do it with you. It was going to be yeah. live at the Broad, and I'm I'm so devastated that we couldn't do that. Yeah. But we are going to bring it to you um, here. We're going to stream uh, stream that on the 17th. Oh, I can't wait! I'll be be with you again to talk about the album. But uh, Blue Sky is coming out, so why don't you tell us a quick bit about that before we get into uh, the program? Uh, Blue Sky's the album. It comes out on Friday. It's available for pre-order on uh, iTunes and, and Spotify and other places. Uh, uh, but it, it is a uh, it, it's a roots album. You know, it's it, it's a blues album. At it's hard, but it, it stretches the boundaries a little bit. So there's some Americana tones there. It, it's really a chance for me to sort of bridge my current blues life uh, and, and jazz life with a past singer songwriter life I had, uh, and I sort of drew up the bridge behind me on that part of my career. 
and uh, you know, spending more time in Texas and being exposed to um, and being on the road a lot, being exposed to roots music sort of made me realize, oh yeah, I used to be a singer songwriter once upon a time. Uh, and so it was a chance to sort of pull those two worlds together a bit. Well, I, I can't wait to hear it and I'm, I'm oh. thrilled we're gonna be able to introduce it together. Thanks, Rob. Uh, on, on the 17th, so tune back in with us for that event. Um, and we have a great show planned for this morning. Sean, uh, of course, you curate our Black Box series at, at The Broad, which is in our uh, ED second space. And it's been yeah. some of the most incredible uh, concert jazz music and small ensemble music that, that we've had on our season all year. We're so grateful to you for all that you bring to The Broad and to our community. Yeah. And I can't wait to see what you have lined up this morning. Well, um, you know, we have a, actually a black box artist who was going to be uh, playing a couple of weeks ago when all this went down. Uh, Jennifer Lightham, who's just a, a fabulous uh, a really? double bass player and, and, uh, and, and a wonderful soul and talent and a, and a, and a good uh, uh, political ally. And, uh, and then uh, secondly, Mindy Abair, who is one of my dearest friends who produced uh, my debut blues album. Uh, uh, and, and we've known her for years and she's a Grammy nominated uh, saxophonist. And, uh, and just a, a wonderful heart as well. So uh, a, a morning of strong, uh, talented women. Well, great. Before I sign off and hand over to you, I'll just let everybody know, just to remind you, we're doing these things live so you can comment. So please send in your thoughts, your ideas, your comments on and your questions uh, about the music that you're hearing and the artists who you're being introduced to. Um, and Sean and I will come back at the end of the hour and answer your questions and uh, see what we can do to, to keep it fresh at the end. So that's where we're headed. Sean, take it away. Hey, thank you. Well, welcome everyone to Music Mornings uh, from the Broad Stage. I am the Reverend Sean Amos, if you're just tuning in. And we've got a wonderful show with uh, Jennifer Lightham and Mindy Bear playing some uh, beautiful jazz uh, music for you. Uh, but first I wanted to play you a uh, video uh, from our my upcoming album with uh, my band, The Brotherhood. Uh, this is a song called Stranger Than Today. Hope you dig it. Is honorary, forgetful servant fades away. Pulling up behind the half line, stranger than today. Changing shoes before the warning. Shouldn't be surprised Running loose between the blue sky Couldn't say we tried
Good morning, everybody. I'm Reverend Sean Amos. This is Music Mornings at the Broad Stage. Uh, that was Stranger Than Today, a video from my new album featuring my, uh, my kid Piper singing with me. Uh, but without further ado, uh, I would love to introduce uh, our first guest this morning, uh, bassist extraordinaire, uh, wonderful human, uh, coming in from Los Angeles in her own sequester, uh, Miss Jennifer Lydon. Jennifer, are you there? Where are you, Jennifer? Hey! Yeah. How are you? Hey, Reverend Sean. Happy Easter. Good to see you. Happy Easter to you too. How you uh how you holding up in your uh in your sequester? Well, doing this this little show today is sure helping. <laughs> I I got really down when uh, everything canceled. <laughs> the show we were supposed to do at the Black Box was uh postponed. Um but I you know, I'm holding up okay. I'm um um, I, I'm a person that's pretty much alone a lot, so and that's not that I'm, I'm not. It's not unusual for me to social distance, um, but I, I am getting a little stir crazy to go out. Of form, <laughs> you know? I hear you. How are you? Uh, how are you staying in shape musically? Because I find for me, I'm like I have to really like force myself to not fall out of shape musically. You know that that first week of of that isolating and, and again the show canceling i was so depressed i couldn't i couldn't play i didn't want to play i didn't want to sing it took me about a week and a half and then it's the bug started to come back and um i've been you know again this broadcast is helping me because as i practiced you know to, to try to get up for this and um gave me a goal yeah. you know it's supposed to have a goal and uh, but i, I should have done the same thing <laughs> The bug is catching. I, you know, I'm starting to compose a little bit, and you know that when that when I get into composing mode, then I know I'm okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 So I, I reflect what's around me, and and believe me, there will be tunes coming out of this experience. There'll be a lot of songs pouring out of this uh, this country, <laughs> musicians yeah. across this country and world, uh, in the following oh. months. Well, I want to uh, I want to get to you playing. So, uh, what do you what are you gonna play for us today? Um, well, we would discuss some things. I had worked up all of this really elaborate material to do, but uh, then uh, last night I found out that I need to do all originals. <laughs> it's like from my movie, we had rights and clearances issues, you know. Yeah, thinking on your feet here. Yeah, I'm here too. So uh, I'm going to play some tunes that I wrote that I haven't really worked up, but I should know them. <laughs> I hope so. All right. Well, let's, let's, let's get to it. Jennifer Lydon, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Give her a second to uh, to set herself up here. There you go. See me okay? Oh, yeah. Have to be in tune, Will. Sorry. Okay. The first one is a tune you wrote for a friend of mine. It's on my album, uh, The Real Me. And it, um, it's called Kenny's Song. Thank you. 
side i don't know am i going on too long no you're beautiful man you want to play one more oh i'd love to just one more yeah I, 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 play one more then uh while you're playing i will check in with our, our production team and see how we're running on time but uh, but uh absolutely play another one right now for sure okay well that certainly will um <laughs> well i wanted to do a strong closer um all right i'll just do one more whatever okay this is one of my other originals this is uh, originally it was recorded with uh, seven basses. It's a piece I wrote for an ensemble, and uh, John Clayton played on the the recording we did. I, I couldn't afford seven bass players, so we <laughs> over parts, and um, it's it's I can only play two of the parts at once when I do it on a solo thing, and and this appears that the original recording was on the real me. The solo version is on the real me live. It was a DVD I made that's also an MP3 of the live, the live show. Um, so it's called Riff Raff, and it revolves around a riff. So we have uh, this, this annoying riff <laughs> that keeps happening, and I, I think what makes it interesting is what happens all around the riff. So Riff Raff. Thank you. 
I love the yeah, group. Right, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right on. So I've heard, yes, we have time for one more. So, uh, oh, yeah. Wow. So, okay, lay, lay, well, tell, tell us a little story about it and, uh, and, and, and lay it on us. Well, let's see. You want something, um, um, well, they're going to be sardonic. I was going to say, you want something sardonic, but they're both sardonic. They're both hit songs of mine. Um, this, um, maybe I'll play Stick It In Your Ear. <laughs> All right. What's Tonight, the story behind? What's the story behind this one? Is there, a story, is there a story behind it? Yeah. Well, yeah. I wrote it for Mel Torme. I used to be Mel Torme's bass player for a while, and uh, I, I wrote this tune back in the early '90s. I think like '91, and I recorded it on a record the first time called um, uh, "The Southpaw," and it was instrumental with Bob Ch Bob, uh, Bob Cooper and Buddy Childers, and and then uh, I recorded it again. On the real man, I put lyrics to it. Because you, right? you are a lefty, right? You're lefty. What's it? You you are a lefty. Southpaw, because you play yes, left-handed. Yes, not reversed. I'm left-handed. <laughs> but I, I played this tune for Mel, and he said, "If you write a lyric to that, I'll sing it. I'll do it. I'll I'll, I'll be on it for free. You don't even have to pay me. You right. really like the tune, you know." And then he died. So <laughs> I, never, <laughs> I never did get to record it with Mel. Ouch. But I wanted to put the lyric out there because I, I thought the lyric was pretty clever. It's, you know, if I don't say so myself. So I did. I put it out on, on uh, and that has become my biggest tune. It this gets this tune is over two million streams on Spotify. Right on. Over okay. two million. Two million. Yeah. Who knew? Right on. Jennifer Lyle. I'm never complaining about Spotify. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick it in your ear. Sounds you heard were crystal clear. The melody and harmony were soothing to hear. But nowadays, music seems designed to give you only fear. Well, stick it in your ear. The times have changed, and romance is a thing of the past. Chromatic noise and doggy dog pervade to the last. I wish there was a way to keep from crying in your beer. Well, stick it in your ear. Time was when all you heard was. 
was Melody and Harmony in sync with a dance. Nowadays, the medium hasn't a chance to the last, but then it's the past, so I hope that there's a way to rise above the crowd. Some future generation will make us all again proud of those who came before who didn't pander to their fear. Well, stick it in your ear. I don't hear you, Sean, but I thank you anyway. <laughs> the host. There you are. Hey, I'm back. Okay, <laughs> I was muted by uh, by the tech crew, so I wouldn't interrupt you. Uh, we got we had to find a a living male jazz singer to to uh, fill in for Mr. Torme. We got we got to pick somebody. Oh, there is no one. No, no. one will ever remember El Torme. <laughs> he was one of us. He was. Well, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Oh my gosh, great. Jennifer Lime, everyone. Uh, please visit her, jenniferlime.com. Uh, we're going to take questions later on. If you got questions uh, for Jennifer, she uh, won't be on uh, camera, I don't think, but she'll be sticking around so we can relay some questions. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and look forward to seeing you live on stage in a room together, yeah. less than six yeah. feet apart, very soon. And please run out and, uh, and download or, or stream my new CD, Remnants of Humanity. Indeed. Cool. Love you, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. So you're listening to, uh, you're tuned in. You're watching Music Mornings from the Broad Stage. I'm the Reverend Sean Amos. For those of you uh, who are just coming in, uh, a chance to have some, uh, some music and uh, some merriment to your to your quarantine. Uh, we're gonna bring up Mindy Abera really shortly, but first I wanna play um, another video. I do, uh, usually on Sunday mornings, I'm here at the kitchen table, if, uh, my, my table's here. And, um, and for many years, I've been playing music on Sunday mornings around the kitchen table with a variety of people uh, and a thing I call kitchen table blues. So I'll, I'd like to play a kitchen table blues session of uh, an upcoming song, uh, a song from our upcoming album, Blue Sky. It's a song with my band, The Brotherhood, I think we recorded it in a kitchen somewhere in Florida. It's called The Job is Never Done on Music Mornings. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. First of all, Montgomery came from New Orleans. He was the third or fourth generation of a certain family tree. Percival's granddaddy used to take him by his hand. He said, hold on to your conscience, boy, as long as you can. You got to piece together the story one by one. Because the job is never over. The job is never done. Piece together the story one by one. Because the job is never over. The job is never done. Congregation looked him in the eye. He said, 
life. Got to piece together the story one by one. Because the job was never over. The job was never done. Piece together the story one by one. Because the job was never over. The job was never done. Sooner than later you'll be feeling like a traitor when you're pulling up another alibi. And if you now defend what you were yesterday of men, it might be really wise to realize that things are going wrong. You got to piece together the story one by one because the job is never over. The job is never done. Piece together the story one by one because the job is never over. One by one, because the job is never over, people. The job ain't never, ever. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, the job is never done. That's from uh, our album coming out this Friday called Blue Sky. You can pre order it. Um, and uh, with the brotherhood there. But without further ado, on this music morning, I would love to introduce my dear friend uh, and the coolest sax player on earth, Miss Mindy Bear. Mindy, you there? Hello, Mindy. Hello. Thank you for having me. What's up? <laughs> I'm just having fun, you know? I'm having fun watching you and, and Jennifer. This has been an awesome Easter morning. Yeah, where are you? I'm at home, Northern California, Alameda. All right. And, uh, you know, just hanging, listening Everybody's to some good music. Everybody's safe, everyone's safe and healthy? Everyone's safe and sound, you know? We've been keeping each other occupied, playing some music and going on a bike ride here and there. A bike and ride, nice. We just finished. We finished our album, probably 99% of it, the week before all this kind of blew up. Oh, so yeah. I was in this kind of joyous space making music and having fun and the whole world shut down. So now I'm just kind of biding my time going, I got a new record. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get on with it please, people? I have a record to release. Yeah. And you, uh, are you drinking good wine? For those of you who don't know watching, uh, Mindy has uh, a little side uh, uh, passion as a, as, as a, as a wine maker. Uh, and she's got a, a wonderful line of, of wines. It's probably why you're up in Northern California these days. Uh, it, but, it is. Uh, <laughs> I, presume oh, I presume you're drinking some good wine right now. Oh my God. I think you can see in the back, there's a mammoth bottle of champagne. So that's awesome. You know, if you're gonna do this shelter in place thing, marry a wine guy. <laughs> No, maybe it can't happen right now, but just for future reference. Yeah, note to self. Uh, yeah, marry a wine guy. So <laughs> my husband's kept us going strong. Excellent. Place is a great thing. Uh, and, and we've been having fun. We're doing our own Facebook Live wine and music sessions cool. uh, on Tuesday. So every Tuesday at 5 p.m. here in, in California, we sit down, I play a bunch of music, and he comes in for a wine intermission. So you can nice. drink. And we can play and we feel like normal human beings getting through this instead of just we're sitting around our house going, huh, what do we do? I so love it. it's been well, really fun. Well, Mindy Bear happy hour. I dig it. Yeah. Uh, basically, yeah. basically it. Love it, love it. Well, <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> we drink what we want to drink though. Of course, of course, as you should. A well, lot what of you, our, our catalog is reserved tasting, so <laughs> you know, we drink a lot of our own stuff. It's good. Right on. Well, what are you gonna play for us this morning? What do, you, what do you got queued up? I got a couple things for you, but uh, the first, you know, we were talking about the new record, and you know, when you when you record an album, uh, you've got all these songs in your head that no one else has heard, yeah. uh, but they're, they're you know killing you to get them out because you, you wrote these songs and you recorded them, and they're magic uh, to you. So uh, I really want to play you this one song that. I just, I've had so much fun writing, and I think right now it's a perfect time for it. It's a song called Say It With Love, 
and I just look at the, the healthcare workers, I look at the doctors, the people that are bringing food to the doctors and nurses and you know everyone involved. And uh, we've all come together so much. I mean, this is what being American is all about. We come together in these times. Uh, but this this song speaks to it, and I, I think uh, it's it's very timely. And it'll come out in a few months, but I'll play it for you now because Love I have it. to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mindy and Bear, everybody, on Music Mornings from the Broad Stage. Enjoy. This is called Say It With Love. Piano singer. I, I haven't seen you, uh, you know, behind the piano singing a lot. It's awesome. You know what? Uh, you know, shelter in place calls for different <laughs> things than usual. You know, it's like usually I'm, you know, singing with you, or I've got my guitarist. Uh, uh, but there's none of that going on, so I've okay. got. <laughs> Miss is the mother about, invention. So usually I just write songs on piano, but uh, but you know. I love it. I love it. Beautiful. Um, I, you know, a question came in while you were playing, uh, asking if Bobby Tate is your godfather. Uh, Bobby Tate is like an uncle to me. So Who is Bobby Tate? Godfather, no. But um, I grew up, uh, Bobby Tate was the guitar player and, in the same band called The Entertainers that my father was the sax player and the B3 organ player. Okay. So I grew up on the road with that band 
from the nice. time I was born until the time I was probably almost five. So uh, Bobby Tate, his son is Jamie Tate, and he was my drummer for probably 10 years. He's like a brother to me. So oh, yeah. yeah, is Bobby watching? Someone's watching who wanted to know if Bobby Tate was your there. That's awesome. Hi, Bobby Tate and friends. <laughs> uh, uh, if anyone else wants to ask questions, please uh, uh, type them in and, 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 we'll, and we'll get to them. But it, it is an interactive experience. Uh, all right, so you're going you're gonna to play a sax tune now? I'm going to play saxophone. Now, I can't play piano and saxophone at the same time. <sighs> I know. I know. I would make so much more money if I could, totally. uh, <laughs> but it's not about that. I'm going to play you some saxophone, and uh, this is a song that I wrote uh, long ago. It's for my Life Less Ordinary CD, and, uh, you know, I grew up not knowing a lot about jazz. I grew up with my dad's band, which was Blue-Eyed Soul, and right. uh, a lot of blues and a lot of rock and roll. So when I wrote this song, I was kind of thinking, you know, look, if people are going to come to my concerts, I want their hands in the air, you know? I want like, you know, I want the light in the air. That's the, those were the concerts that I was going to, you know? So uh, make that happen, you know? I wanted it to be stadium jazz. So I know I don't have the full band. It gets, it gets a little bigger, but you know, if you got your lighters in the air or your, your candle in the air, it's Easter, put them up in the air further. <laughs> Right on, Mindy Bear, coming to you from Northern California at her uh, music wine empire. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it's becoming, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this one's called Bloom. Take it away. Music mornings, road stage. <laughs>
A lighter. So I got that. Right, that's what I'm about. <laughs> Beautiful, Mindy. Thank you, you for joining us. In, your ear, in the air for Easter sometimes, you know? Uh, I love you, Mindy. Thank you for uh, doing this inaugural uh, show with me. Now, this is awesome. Let's do this every week and uh, and let's play together a little more for it. Next time yeah. we got to do something together. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, Mindy Bear, ladies and gentlemen, on um, Music Mornings. Mindy, where can everyone find you? MindyAbear.com, I know that, but uh, where can they find your wine stuff? Yeah, go to MindyAbear.com for me, M-I-N-D-I, A-B-A-I-R. And uh, for my wine company, go to ReserveTastings.com. And it's wine and music. So you get shipments of wine, but it comes with Spotify playlists of music that pairs with the wine. Sweet. So it's really... It's very fun. It's not just wine that, that's our company's wine. It's wine that is paired artistically and with music. So you're supposed to cool. listen and drink, and it makes it way better. So reservetastings.com for that. And uh, go to my Facebook page on Tuesday and join in on our little wine and music session. Bring your bottle yeah. of wine. <laughs> All right, many <laughs> thanks. I'll see you soon. Happy. Well. There is a fun little morning, huh? Uh, thanks to Jennifer. Thanks to Mindy. Uh, hope to see you again next Sunday for some more uh, blues and jazz. Uh, we had a question come in uh, regarding our Black Box series, which a lot of you have uh, been seeing, and, and, and thank you for that. And if April has been rescheduled, it definitely has. Um, and, and a new um, uh, new lineup and schedule will get announced uh, soon. But uh, when we know what the world is gonna look like and how people can gather again. Uh, but but rest assured, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. Uh, Rob, you there? Rob, where are you? Hey. Hey, thank you so much. And thanks to all the musicians. That was a fantastic morning. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's good, oh, good, uh, good, it's, good, it's, good way to spend some time. I'm glad you you kind of caught a bunch of the questions as, as they were going by. I just want to let everybody know to, to check out the feed because there was also a lot of love flying around on the feed too. That's worth worth acknowledging. Um, we have just a, a few minutes left with you, Sean, but I, I wanted to just ask you my final three questions for you. Uh, okay. um, and I was thinking as as as, uh, as talk about Velog, Mel Torme, and and um, I was thinking about so many musicians who just in the last few days we've we've lost for a variety of reasons, John Prine and Bill. Withers and Kenny Rogers and so many. Um, and it just brought this question to mind for me, uh, you know, of, of, of thinking about your music and where you are, of all the musicians who have, who have gone by and who, who have brought music to where it is today, who would you most like to cover one of your songs and, and why would that be? Wow, that, that, that's a tough one. Um, it is. Yeah. I mean, before I answer that, I wanted you mentioned the folks who've been lost, and I, I just wanted to mention uh, Hal Wilner, who was a who was a friend and a, and a colleague. He's a great music producer uh, and uh, for SNL, and also sure. produced a bunch of lovely tunes. And we got to do a, a Lenny Bruce box set together years ago. Oh, um, and yeah. uh, and I spent a lot of time with him. We kept in touch over the years, and uh, so I, I just wanted to sort of uh, say uh, give my love to him and to his right. uh, partner Sheila and his son Arlo. Um, but to answer your question, um, God, that's a tough one. I, well, I mean, man, I think anyone who's a songwriter, I, I'd be honored. I mean, I'm a huge fan of songwriters. And, and so, I mean, if, if uh, you know, Elvis Costello, I've covered an Elvis Costello song. If you cover one of my songs, I'd be over the moon. Uh, you know, uh, if Betty LeVette covered one of my songs, I know Betty's been on the broad stage. Um, uh, hearing Betty sing one of my songs would be pretty insane. Uh, I can go on and on, but yeah, I'll leave it. Betty, Betty Levin on one end of the spectrum and Elvis Costello on the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'd both enjoy being together though, honestly. If they, oh my if God. they play around in your musical imagination, I think they'd both be happy there. <laughs> so let me ask you, you know, coming out of all of this, if you think yourself forward into the future, mm -hmm. um, what's, what's one of the things that coming out of this you would most like to see transformed? What's something positive coming out of all of this that you think might be 
a great way for us to re-enter a, a, a changed landscape, a changed world. God, I mean, I hope a common sense of purpose. I mean, because you know, it, it feels like that's happening now. I mean, it is. I mean, you know, by and large, everyone is doing the same thing <laughs> and, and, and sticking home uh, because it's good for our neighbors as well as ourselves. And I hope we can hold on to that uh, common sense of purpose. I agree, and I join you in that sentiment. Yeah. Um, and lastly, so we're going to see you um, again on the 17th. We're going to talk through your new album. Yeah. I'm so excited with the bits yeah. of it we got to see today. That was amazing. Thanks. Um, I'm really uh, looking forward to getting more acquainted with my my uh, my early release copy and, and <laughs> ready to interview you about that. Um, but I, I did want to uh, reassure everyone that the, the concerts we've missed this year for Black Box are definitely rescheduled and we will also be doing um, uh, a, a sort of enhanced version of Black Box, we hope, um, in the coming season, in, in the 2021 season. So we should be announcing that soon. But I do want to leak a little bit that one of the things we're talking about is actually having some sort of dance oriented or social dance oriented concerts that would be actually for a larger audience than in the black box it would Yay! be the call. So um, there'll be some fun things to look forward to and and we're we're excited to see Sean where your imagination takes us next season and we're all looking forward to the day we can be together in the same room and and rocking out together. Yeah man for sure. That's me good. We were we're almost done so uh, with, with with the season so we'll uh, I can't hopefully we'll you know. be happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Thank you all for joining us for Music Mornings. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again next week. And don't forget about joining us for Sean's virtual album release on the 17th. Thanks so well, much. Yeah, thank you. I think we're going to leave you with one last uh, video here. Uh, oh, great. Uh, one, more, one, more, one more Kitchen Table Blues uh, flashback. This is me and Mindy uh, in my uh, kitchen uh, playing a song we wrote together called Hollywood Blues. So enjoy and uh, see you guys soon. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks, Sean. So I got my hat, bought me new shoes I'm feeling like a million bucks in my twenty dollar suit But I got the blues I got the Hollywood blues We all want to be a star but don't forget who you are The Hollywood blues show is tough you know you never get it all but they give you just enough these folks got gold at the fingertips why i'm in my piece of shit driving down the sunset strip i got the blues i got the Hollywood blues we all want Oh!
forget who you are, the Hollywood blues. The Hollywood blues. I'm going down a sunset strip. I'm gonna get my old rambler. Stop at the back of no routes. Maybe get myself a bug at that A-frame store. Is a milk, you know. Go back home and wait for my agent to call. Mm. 